If you're like me, you probably started using the Raspberry Pi Pico putting standard I.O. over USB. The first examples did this and then we copied it. So we had a configuration of CMake that looked like this. To take advantage of the Raspberry Pi debug probe, I want to move standard I.O. over UART, which is a simple change to the CMake file. But what if I've used GPIO 0 and 1 for other things? And yes, I've done that on my projects, though. Well, it's a fairly easy configuration too, through CMake. So I can move the standard I.O. to be on GPIO 16 and 17, with a couple more lines of CMake configuration. Let me explain all this in a little more detail. This video is sponsored by my friends at PCBWay. PCBWay are your go-to solution for PCB manufacturing, 3D printing, CNC, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding, all your maker needs. So when I design my Pico W's project boards, I can upload them and get quality PCBs produced by PCBWay. You can see some of the boards they have made for me in my other videos. Check out the Inside PCBWay factory video too, for a fascinating view on how PCBs are produced. So go and check out PCB Way now or after the rest of my video. Why my sudden interest in standard I over UART? Well, in short, the Raspberry Pi debug probe. I'm using it much more than I was expecting to. The problem is that I have built lots of projects and examples for my Udemy courses that put devices on GPIO 0 and 1, the standard pins for standard I.O. over UART. Updating all of these projects would be a pain, so I was looking for an easy way. I've not seen this documented elsewhere, so here we go. Standard I.O. is where we send telemetry when we do something like printf in C, or send something to C out in C++. Of course, we can read from standard I.O. too, though we tend to do less of that on microcontrollers. So we could use scanf or cin. Our build configuration then sets where standard I.O. will go, either over the USB cable to our host computer or over a serial cable with a transmit and receive wire, normally a ground wire too. We configure the standard I.O. approach using the Pico's SDK in the cmakelist.txt file. The Pico enables standard I.O. USB line enables standard I.O. over USB. This means we will use a USB serial device appearing on our host computer. On the Raspberry Pi, this is normally TTYACM0. On Mac, it's normally something like cu.usb modem and on Windows, it's one of the COM ports. If we want to use UART or Serial instead, we can turn off standard I.O. over USB and turn it on over UART in the CMake file. This will by default use GPIO pad 0 and 1. We'll use a board rate of 115,200 and one stop bit and no parity. You can plug this into the Raspberry Pi debug probe's UART port. The yellow cable goes to GPIO pad 0, the orange to GPIO pad 1, and the black cable to any ground, but I normally use pin 3. If, like me, you have used GPIO 0 and 1 for other things in your projects, or you just want to use pins closer to the SWD port to look a little cleaner on the breadboard, then you can redefine the default UART pins. Update the CMake file to include these definitions. I've moved the standard I.O. to be over GPIO pads 16 and 17. Do note that although the name of these definitions is pins, they do not refer to pin numbers on the Pico, but to the GPIO pad numbers. I've built a little project to show how to redefine the standard I.O. UART pads over on my GitHub repo area. I'll put the link in the description. So it's quite simple to use the CMake system to switch standard I.O. from USB to UART and to change the port numbers that it's using. I hope you found the video useful. Please do hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified of more videos from me. Goodbye for now.